Now, coaching and fight here, talking about the importance of the year 2020. As you can see, all over the web, all over YouTube, all over social media, all in the news, and all over the world, it seems like everybody is getting excited about the year 2020. Many people are talking about the creation of the Third Temple in 2020, New Jerusalem in 2020, the Rapture in 2020, Pentecost 2020. They're even talking about the significance of the 2020 election and the riots that are going on in 2020 and how they have something to do with the 400 year prophecy that ended right at the beginning of the year 2020. But like this chart you're looking at created by the return of the king in his video 2020 rapture 2020 27 tribulation timeline there are a lot of people who are claiming that the tribulation starts in 2020 so in this video we're going to go in and look at what the scripture says about the year 2020 to show that all of this excitement about the year 2020 may not all just be hype Daniel in his prophecies in chapter 12 were actually pointing to the year 2020 and in this video I'm going to prove it look over in Daniel it's in verse 3 of chapter 12 it says and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever so now let's drop down further in chapter 12 so we can see when these events are supposed to take place when you look at verse 11 it says and from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate set up there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days now to understand what he's talking about when he says that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away you have to jump over to 2nd Kings in chapter 25 so you're looking in verse 8 during the 19th year of King Nebuchadnezzar one of his servants came to Jerusalem in the fifth month and the seventh day of the month when you look down there in verse 9 it says and he burnt the house of the Lord and the king's house and all the houses of Jerusalem and every great man's house burnt he with fire now you go on down in the 25th chapter of the book of 2 Kings and you see all that they did to the temple. Not only did they burn it down, but you see down in verse 13 and 14, they took away the daily sacrifice. They took away the pots, the shovels, the snuffers. They took away the fire pans, the bowls. They took away all of these instruments that was made out of gold and silver that was being used to make the daily sacrifice. This is what Daniel was talking about when he said that the daily sacrifice was taken away. Because by taking these instruments as well as the priests and everybody else, the great men, they took away all into Babylon, the daily sacrifice had ceased. It was no longer able to take place. And so what Daniel is telling us from the time when the daily sacrifice is taken away and abomination is set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Now jumping over here to a diagram that I get from the timeline of human history, we see that this actually happened in the year 606 BC. And I have to admit, this part is not genuine information, it's well known or well recognized that the years of captivity for the Israelites lasted from 606 to 536 BC. Now the last time I did a video on the year 2020 I got some pushback on the 606 BC date. Like I said it's not original. This is commonly understood information but since I was challenged I had to go in and try to do a little more research on my own and that research confirmed the 606 BC date. I've gone in and looked at many of these websites here on Google looking at the Babylonian captivity 606 BC. I've looked at several of these websites 
but they only confirmed that the 606 date is actually correct. So let's go on. And what also was understood is that when Daniel was talking about 1,290 days, he was really talking about 1,290 years. There are several prophecies that's given by Daniel in his book, but each time he was actually talking about years. So when we start at the year 606 BC and we add 1,290 years plus one year because there was no year zero, you always have to add one year when you're doing these calculations because there was no such thing as year zero, we end up with 685 AD. And again, remember that we're talking about the temple. It was burned in 606 BC. So then you must ask, what happened to the temple in 685 AD? Well, in 685 AD, they started the construction of the Dome of the Rock on the Temple Mount. The same place that Solomon built his temple, the same place that Abraham was about to sacrifice his son Isaac, the same place that Jacob laid his head upon a rock which is called Mount Moriah. Some would say the holiest place on earth. They built another temple to some say another God on that holy site in 685 AD. And so that's what Daniel was talking about when he says the abomination that maketh desolate. You say, well, why does that make it desolate? What maketh desolate about that place? For that, we have to look at the Gospels. In Matthew chapter 24, the Messiah is warning his disciples. In verse 15, he says, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. So we understand from Daniel that this was to happen in the year 685 and it actually did happen in the year 685 but what the Messiah was telling them is when they actually saw it occur to flee and to run and this is what actually happened the children of Israel that were still in Jerusalem at the time saw this abomination going up and they actually left Jerusalem. They fled into Eastern Africa and to other parts of the world. They were actually scattered throughout the entire world during that time. And that's what Daniel meant by maketh desolate. But let's go on because Daniel says in verse 12 he says blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred five and thirty days again we're talking about the temple but this time we're talking about a blessing whereas before we got desolation this time we're supposed to get a blessing so when we come into our calculator and we add 1335 days we end up with the year 2020 